Well, hey guys, Scott with BWSR Bushcraft. It's uh, probably a little after five here, and uh, such a beautiful sunset coming through the trees back here. What I wanted to do is uh, just kind of show you the uh, chain harrow that I just finished building. And there's a million uh, DIY versions and all that stuff out there. Um, but I thought I'd just show you what I did. So, at any rate, this is to smooth out all this tilled area. And I got a ton of it out here to, to do. So, um, four by five piece of chain link fence scrap. Four foot two by fours. Um, and what I did is took fencing nails okay and just nailed them in there I'm, I'm gonna have to go back over these before I do it um, th this this wood sat out and it got really wet so I'm sure it expanded um, nailed it all around the edge folded the wire under each of the two by fours and I just nailed the whole chain link fence on each um, all the way across uh, that's pressure treated wood too by the way I made uh, well brackets for the bungee cord to put the center blocks on um, Commercially, they basically make it out of angle iron so you can set them on there, but um, it's made out of wood. Then back here, a couple of things. I, I, I wanted, this is kind of light chain link fence, so it's just scrap. Um, it's it just kind of flimsy. So what I did is I, I, I put this small log back here, and again, I, I you know, fence nailed it all on there. With just a couple of ideas, I, I want the chain to stay four foot wide across the whole, you know, the platform. Plus, I want a little rigidity back here and just a little bit of weight. Because um, the idea is that um, when I'm rolling over the, you know, the dirt, it's all tilled up in piles and mounted and rocks and everything else. I just want it to kind of float over it, come back here, and then the, the weight of this log. It's still kind of wet. It's an old uh, a piece of a wild cherry that we cut down. Um, it was in the way. Um, but um, here, let me see if I can do this. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to nail them under there. But um, anyway, I just thought I'd just do this video real quick. So you could see see what I did, and then uh, once everything dries out, we got a soaking rain yesterday, or last night, all night. Then, uh, oh excuse me, been a long couple days. Um, uh, then we'll just you know we'll hook it up to the to the tractor mower there and, and pull it around. Um, hook the eyelets up here for chain. And, uh, yeah. So, at any rate, um, yeah, that's uh, what I finished up today. So, in the next video, um, we'll be running around on the dirt. Um, and uh, see how it works. Until next time, it's been Scott with BWSR Bushcraft. Pack light, pack tight. Stay hydrated.